Hey, so this is my new my Ford Metal Late. I've been looking for one of these forever and I finally found one with a good price to condition ratio. Moreover, it also came with a couple extras like this quick change tool post, a couple brand new drip oilers and of course the base, which I think is also quite rare. But hey, of course, not everything is perfect. After all, this late was made in the 1950s. So as you can see here, we have a broken wheel on the tailstock, which is fine because I can still use it, no problem. And perhaps we can look into fixing that in a future video. But first, more importantly, we have another problem on the lathe, and that is a massive amount of wear on the cross slide. So, of course, I ordered a replacement part from the MyFord website. It should be quite easy to swap out the threads and the nut. So, let's jump right into it. And of course, the part is not the same, so we're gonna have to do a little bit of adapting. There are for sure many ways to go around this, but I decided to cut this section with the features from the old threads. And of course, since the MyFord is my new shiny toy, I'm gonna use that to bore out the correct hole. And later we'll do hot shrinking to fit over the new threaded rod. And here we go, after a little bit of wire wheeling, the part looks good. And really, I don't think pinning is necessary for this part. For now, I will rely only on friction from the odd shrinking and from the bolt that goes on after the handle and should pull everything together. And now, after reassembling, we can throw it back into the lathe. And here you can see the backlash is now pretty much zero. And that is really cool, especially compared to the old one that, as you can see here, moves pretty much in every direction and has massive backlash. And now here is another little thing that I got from the MyFord website. And this is a ER32 collet chuck. I chose this one because I already have ER32 for the milling machine. So I think it will come in handy to have the same type of ER collet everywhere. So to mount this on the lathe, I have to turn the back plate in place. This is shipped with a little bit extra material around the meeting surfaces and is meant to be turned on the lathe that is going to be used on. As you can see here, I am just removing a tiny bit of material and I've checked really frequently the fit until the collet chuck part fits just perfectly over this step on the faceplate. And when it's done, I can tighten the three screws and they should stay on forever. And this is the only test that I can try using an end mill, which is the most round thing I have in the workshop, I think. And it runs pretty straight with only 0.02 or 0.03 millimeter, which is absolutely fine for what I do. And now for the very last part that I ordered, here we have the sticker, the original sticker that I can apply on the guard with the help of a little spray of cleaner just to help me position the sticker absolutely perfectly centered. And this is of course the most important feature of the late in terms of concentricity. 
Jokes aside, for now, the work on the lathe is done and I can't wait to using it more for future projects. And that's it. Have a great day and see you on the next project.